Hi, this is Scott Hanselman. I'm going to show you a couple of new features in Visual Studio 2012 and ASP.NET 4.5. Specifically, async and await and ASP.NET. How does asynchrony and asynchronous programming fit into the ASP.NET space? Asynchrony is built all throughout ASP.NET. You can use it in web forms. You can use it in MVC with asynchronous controllers, web API, SignalR developers, anyone who's using anything at all within the ASP.NET family of technologies can use asynchronous programming. So let's talk about this. What does it look like? All right, here's an application. This is an ASP.NET MVC application. And we've got a pretty basic controller here. We've got a contact controller. We're going to go off to three different web services, and we're going to go and call download string. Download string is going to use web client. This is pretty straightforward code that you've seen before. We'll make a call. It'll happen synchronously. When that comes back, then this line will run. And then when that comes back, then this line will run. We'll throw the results into a view bag and show the view. You'll notice though that we've added a filter. We put a stopwatch here. This is a little thing of our own, just for the example here, that that's going to count how long it takes in seconds for this work to happen. So again, we're going to request this page. Controller is going to run. We're going to make calls out to three different web services. Some of these might take a second or two. Some might return instantly. We'll run this application, get our contacts, and it looks like it took 2.2 seconds. We had a list of contacts, we got temperature, we got location. This is done synchronously. This is pretty standard. Whether these are database calls or web services calls or file system access, the point is sometimes you have to do things and you don't know how long it's going to take for them to come back. How can we make this code asynchronous without a lot of work? Well, first we can start by marking this method as async. And then instead of returning an action result, we're going to return a task action result. Then down here, we're going to say await task when all, when all of these things, when contacts and temperature and location are all done, then we'll bring those together and get the results. Except it's telling us don't take things that aren't tasks. Well, we need to use not download string, which is the standard synchronous method, but rather download string task async. All of the methods that you're used to using that could be benefited from an asynchronous version in .NET 4.5 have those. That means file access, talking out to sockets and HTTP, any kind of low-level I.O.-based API now has a task async addition. Now, because we're going to await for these, in fact, a task is coming back. This is no longer the data. This is the task itself, because task when all will wait for the context task and the temperature task and the location task to finish. The actual value is inside of result. So we'll change that. So now let's look at our code. Our asynchronous controller method is going to make three calls, and those calls are going to go boom, boom, boom. They're going to return immediately because they are asynchronous. Then this thread will be freed up. This ASP.NET thread will be freed up and can be used by other requests. When everything's done, when all of those tasks are finished, then we will return, we will get the results, and we will put them back in the view bag. Nice, easy to read. Couldn't be any easier, frankly. Let's run this. Now, suddenly our two and a half second long call took 1.1 seconds. That's because those things were happening in parallel. Some of them took a long time. Some of them didn't. Remember before we said that a couple of these should take a while. Well, in fact, contacts and temperature and location are all web API calls. Contacts comes back immediately. But location has a thread sleep. It actually takes a full second to return. Temperature controller also had a sneaky thread sleep there. So the reason that it took us two seconds before is that two of those different methods were waiting for a full second. So the fastest we could have possibly come back was two seconds, the sum of all of those times. Now, when we're doing that work asynchronously, we can come back, do them in parallel, and come back in a mere one second. That's how easy asynchronous programming is in ASP.NET, 
and .NET 4.5. It's a really exciting new feature, and I hope that you have a lot of fun with it. Thank you.